Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de of the Brain Wagon blog. I have a little ham radio related project today which uh, involved a tiny bit of hardware interface and a little bit more coding from a project that I did a long time ago. I have made a PS2 IBM keyboard, not PlayStation 2, uh, PS2 keyboard to Morse code sender that's powered by an Arduino and it will actually use an opto isolator circuit to key my FT817, which is a cute little radio. Uh, you might actually reasonably ask why this project is interesting, but you know, the ability to send uh, Morse code via a keyboard is actually kind of nice because, well, keyboards are really cheap, and actually good keys are remarkably expensive, and they also take a great deal of practice to learn how to use, whereas I've spent the last 30 years of my life actually using <laughs> regular keyboards. So I'm pretty good with those. But uh, in any case, even if you don't think that having a full-size keyboard to send Morse code is a good thing, and a lot of purists won't, there's uh, some ideas on interfacing PlayStation 2 keyboards through Arduino. Maybe you want to use it for something else. And also just the ability to send Morse code and stuff on your radio seems like a pretty good deal to me. So uh, let's get on with the project. So here we have the keyboard that I fished out of my uh, garage. It's actually not in too bad a shape. They used to actually expend money on these things. It was probably expensive when it was bought, but uh, it's just a standard old keyboard. And the important thing is it has one of these round mini DIN connectors. Not a, it's not a USB keyboard because USB keyboards are actually fairly difficult to interface. But what I've got it plugged into here is a little six pin socket that I got from SparkFun and they make a little adapter board for about a buck that you can solder some pins on and then you can just plug it right into your motherboard. I'm using a uh, little motherboard holder that I got from Jason Toddick's company, Toddick.com. There'll be a link to that in my show notes. And you know, I've just jumpered it in. This is just an easy project. Behind here I've got a small uh, 4N31 opto isolator. And there's a keying output from the Arduino that goes to one side and the other side is just wired through this uh, three and a half uh, millimeter connector to the keying input on the back of my FT817. And I've actually got it set up now to not uh, transmit. If you have the BK setting off, it will just send the side tone. So I'm not transmitting. I haven't got it hooked up to an antenna or anything. But the good thing is, if you type, you know, A, A, B, C, what you hear in the background is actually the keying output from the Arduino being sent to the radio. And I've even got a simple macro key set up. If I type percent, which is an uncommon Morse code key, it makes a CQ call for myself. So in this case, the side tone is being generated by the radio. I also wrote the program so that if you hooked up a speaker to pin 10, it will also uh, just make a little beepy sound for that as well. So you can type, uh, you know, I can't do this as easily one-handed. And if you fed this to um, a Morse code decoding program like FLDigi, it would actually decode it for you. <laughs> So this is just a little program. It's been fun. Uh, the program itself is kind of cute because you have to make sure that you're um, buffering up characters in the right way to, uh, to get them to send at the right time. So there's a little bit of polling uh, magic that occurs inside, but it's pretty straightforward. And if anybody's interested in using it, I'd be happy to uh, hear about it. Um, I don't know how much further I'm going to take this little project. I thought that I could actually use the same code that I, or the same basic idea, and write a Hellschreiber version so that you can make a Hellschreiber sending keyboard, which would be kind of cute. The reality is, is this isn't hugely practical. There's some great keying uh, uh, kits for people who, who make, you know, ones that you can do with this that interface between you and your PC. and. There's uh, embedded ones like Hans Summers makes one for Q and QRSS. And the real reason to do this is because it's fun. Maybe you have a special purpose in mind and you can just, uh, you know, adapt it to whatever needs that you have. But uh, anyway, this has been a fun little project and it gave me an excuse to, you know, make some new connectors so that I can play with PS2 keyboards and, and uh, I could test my understanding of opto isolators, which are dead simple, but you know, 
It's all part of the fun. And this has been Mark Van de Wittering of the Brain Wagon blog. Hope you all have a great day.